Good day, everyone. Hello. Uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, if you're a return viewer, you may have forgotten what you're ever watching. Uh, this is RJ makes coffee in his underwear. And I'll be making coffee uh, in my underwear. Uh, I got this. So this is an odd thing. Two things. I got this. This is coffee. It's standard. It's the one I had last time. Rise up. I also have this. I was gifted this. It's supposed to be cookies and dreams, it says. It's, a, it's flavored. I don't want too much flavor, so I think I'm going to do three scoops of this, one scoop of this. Is that okay with everyone? Does that work? And, and on a sadder note, as for my underwear, I'm wearing my favorite pair, but unfortunately, <clears throat> this is the last time uh, I will be wearing this pair. It li I mean, look at this. I can't do this anymore. These are, these are no longer underwear. They've really turned into a jock strap. So this is where I'm at. It'll be the last time. I've worn these for quite a while. I love them dearly, but it's time to go. What am I going to do? Get them sewn? It's a whole thing. Maybe I can just pull, pull them up like this. Oh, wow. I can just wear these as wrestling gear. Great. Uh, Jennifer says, good morning. Clarence says, hi, RJ. I'm in New York living the speedo life. Well, good luck with that, young man. Uh, so, and as you can see, oh yeah, so last week I was on, I was fine. You may have noticed I was completely unscathed. This week I got this thing, uh, on my head. Uh, and if you're asking how I got it, what happened was, uh, I swung a wooden paddle and the guy ducked and it hit the ring post and I swung it so hard that it immediately ricocheted back and hit me in my face. There was a big bruise and there was a cut and there was bleeding and it was kids at a fair show and they didn't come to see blood. So I had to be like, yeah, but also I'm okay. Uh, and then people see it and they go, wow, that, that wrestling is, is pretty rough. Huh? I guess it's not fake. I'm like, no, no, it is. Like, I'm just, I'm just shit. I'm just fucking bad. Like bad wrestling does this to you. If you are painting and you chop off your finger People don't say, ooh, painting must be rough. They say, wow, you must be a really bad painter. So that's where I'm at. Michelle says, retire the underwear and frame them and have them hang it at my local sports bar. I used to be a waiter there, uh, Michelle. I don't know if they'll be interested because they know me on a personal level. Chris said, morning, I'm making some coffee and kind of brooding. Well, there's no need to brood. Uh, it's, it's a chance to mourn. Uh, these this horrible underwear accident and the accident on my head. Uh, I'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna soldier on. Nick says, RJ, please come to Rochester's Salute for Pro Wrestling Night, August seventh. Unfortunately, I cannot. I will be in Toronto doing a bunch of wrestling weekend type things. But let's get to the coffee, shall we? Uh, as you can see here. Actually, before we do that. At my mother's insistence, I brought my record player back. If anyone's interested in hearing either Lawrence Welk, Jerry Vale, <clears throat> Jerry Vale, or the wonderful Jerry Vale, uh, you know what? Maybe I'll put on the, uh, the Lawrence Welk. There's a lot of good business in here. I loved listening to it the last time. Is this the, that's, that's side two. This is side one. Let's hook this Huckleberry up. Does anyone know how to operate a record player? Okay. Here we go. Should put it on first. Bear with me. Side one. There we are. Any moment now, it'll just be firing up, and we will get on our coffee-making way. Let's just hang in there. Chris said, Jerry Vale number one. I'm sorry, it's too late. You'll have to wait for the other two Jerry Vales. Let me see if I can. Is this a speed issue? Let me see if I can. Oh, look, the record cover was on. Hold on. Okay, you're gonna, it's gonna knock your socks off. While we do that and... Ooh, this is too loud. Okay. 
Well, that's wonderful music. Let's get a pour and, and scoop in. Ooh, and this is, makes you think about my underwear, the whole thing. One, two, three, four, and now for a little flavoring, we'll go for the cookies and dream. Wow, this is making me way too emotional than I was ready for. There you go, I can smell the cookies already. Wow, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. What song is this? Dear Lord. Is this a Young and the Restless? Chris says, I've been meeting to get a turntable. Jerryville, you're a big fan of Jerryville. Well, anyway, if you're just joining us, I'm listening to this wonderful Lawrence Welk album. I believe we're currently listening to Nadia's theme from The Young and the Restless. Balthazar says, what's the weirdest place I've wrestled? Um, probably an abandoned church, like an hour and a half from where I live. And there was exactly six people in the audience. And I was in an eight man tag. So there were literally more people in the ring uh, than they were uh, in the audience. And a church, an abandoned church is like more lonely. You feel the presence of lost wandering souls too, as opposed to just doing an illusion that nobody's at. So that one sticks out as a particular low in my life. If you're just joining us, I'm making a little bit of this. I cut my head by being a bad wrestler. And this is the last time I'm wearing these underwear. This episode is really a salute to my favorite pair. Ooh. Now we're really stepping up. Rachel says, hi. Gee, thanks for that, Rachel. Thanks for adding so much to the conversation. Um, I'm doing okay. This will be fine, right? This will clear up. Somebody, Michelle says, the music needs to be played when RJ makes sleepy time tea. No, this isn't supposed to relax you. This is supposed to make you think. This is supposed to make you wistful. And you're supposed to pine for different things. That's what this is doing. This is a great idea to put this song on. Uh, Aaron says, rest in peace. Uh, Colleen says, rest in peace, zebra underwear. We've had some good times. I honestly think I've had them since high school. I was really, you know, just a fan of them. I thought I'm really gonna ride the map. This is a long song. I feel like this has been going on for a couple minutes now. Is that the end? Colleen says, hey, keep pulling on those and who knows what m might happen. I'm sure she's referring to the Lawrence Welk record. Charlie Sword says, is there going to be an in memoriam video for the underwear's greatest moment? This is kind of it. This is the in memoriam for my underwear. So, what song is this? That's the wonderful thing about record players. You're never sure what song is what, and then you gotta look at the album and, and figure it out. Well, I hope we're up tempo now after that dirge. What song is this? This is Beretta's theme. Remember he had the parrot? Who am I speaking to? What is my demographic? Balthazar says, have I ever seen the SNL skits about wealth? Yes, and unfortunately they're not really about wealth. They're about that one lady with the small hand, but I wish they were just about Lawrence. Michelle said the previous song was making her think about how sleepy she was. I hope this has now picked up the pace. Chris said, for a while when I was jobless, I watched Young and the Restless. Remember you were home from school and you watched Prices, right? That was just a treat. And it felt like the episode was like five hours long for some reason. Nobody quite knew why. If you're just joining us, we're making a little bit of cookies and cream and some regular coffee. And uh, feel free to write in the comments your favorite memories of these underwear. Because this, this will be the last time I'm wearing them, unfortunately. The other side's good. We're hanging in here. It's just, you know, whatever. Chris says, rest in peace, Calvin Klein underwear. Charles says, LOL, what happened to your underwear? It looks like somebody ripped them, trying to get them off, maybe? Very funny. No, I just put them on aggressively. And I really dig my nails into them, and I yank them up. So I like the support. So I guess an accident happened after years and years of doing that. Charlie said, is this just TV themes? Was that Lo Lawrence Welk's primary genre? No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Charlie. Hold on, the water is boiling. 
TV themes was not Lawrence Welk's uh, primary genre. I'd say his genre was just generally popular music and other old standards. Um, I will say this time period seemed to be a peak for like hip themes that are really like songs and not TV themes like 30 Second Bullshit. So he really delved into this one. And this is a really departure for Lawrence because it's so hip and, and current sounding. All right. I tell you, when I was a child, I always thought I'd be able to pour coffee to the theme from Beretta. There we are. There we are. Great organ. That's an underrated organ. What song is this now? Oh, God. Hey. Well, if you're just joining us, my life is over. Michelle says the Salute Your Shorts theme song would have worked today, as we're all saluting my tattered Calvins. Yes, in many ways, we will be saluting them. Well done, Michelle. Chris said, do you enjoy the... <clears throat> Do I enjoy the equal right now? In the, oh, the sequel right now in The Price is Right with both Showcase Girls. Oh, I see what you're saying. So remember the Showcase Girls and Showcase Girls and Showcase Men? Yeah, I do enjoy it. Because I feel like, you know, sometimes you need a man showing you things. I want to go to Greece with a man. So you're on your way to Greece. Uh, I need a man's hand to guide me there. That's very important. I think everyone should be able to showcase model Everyone should be able to do it. I think it'll get to the point where they can just have fans do it. It's a lot of fun. And it doesn't seem... I, you know what? It's probably f way more difficult. There's probably a lot of marks to hit. Charles says, rip the other side to match and they will be unique and stylish. That's right, Charles, because they're un not unique and stylish enough. Thank you for weighing in with your fashion sense. Uh, Mark says, polkas. Welk's on, Welk on his accordion. Yes, actually, I think this is right-hand man, Mr. Myron Florin. Uh, Mark says, greetings from Ottawa. That is a schlep. Good luck with all that. Uh, I swear this is the theme from the Flintstones, says Charlie. This is TV, this is not. This is uh, Paloma Blanca, whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. I don't even know what theme this is too, but I hear it constantly in my dreams. Every time I close my eyes, I just can't, uh, I can't shake this. So if you're just joining me, we are making coffee, we're waiting. Uh, a little bit of this, and a little bit of this. These Bones people make flavored coffee. Some of it's a hit, some of it's a miss. Because you, so there's some flavors you don't want hot and liquidy in a cup. You know what I mean? You ever go to those gourmet tea stores and they'll be like, oh, this is strawberry cheesecake flavored tea. And you're like, why would I want, that's how I like to take my cheesecake, hot and watery. Uh, cat is just waving, and I guess I gotta wave back. Balthazar says, did I know Regis Philbin has a workout video about walking? Why did everyone have exercise videos in the 80s and 90s? Yes, I know he has one. It's on YouTube. He has one. Estelle Getty has one for seniors. <clears throat> Cher has one. Milton Berle has one, which is, he manages to be offensive in a lot of ways in the video. Uh, who else? Zsa, Zsa Gabor has one. They're all on YouTube. Go look up some celebrity Workout videos, they are, they are a hoot. This is, of course, feelings. Um, Stephanie says, good morning. Good morning to you, Stephanie. Jake says, good morning. We're all saying good morning. I got it. Uh, Chris says, I saw those Regis infomercials back in the early 2000s. The Regis ones are, are great. I think uh, Kathy Lee makes a cameo. Joy certainly does. And he's like, oh, now we're going to do six push-ups. These are called rips. That's basically the video. Chris said, are you going to do a song and dance number at Hornet's music charity event at the Rock Pile? My dear friend Hornet is doing a music charity event. I believe it's a salute to the tragically hip. I'll sing, but I'm not doing any hip. I'll, maybe I'll do, uh, oh, I don't know, something from this collection. Chris says, would I consider having Tony Little on the show? Is Jack LaLanne still alive? I would love to have Tony Little you know, he's like a gazelle. There's a product placement, Tony. That one's for you. Jake said, I actually had a Marky Mark workout video in the 90s. And how did it work for you, Jake? What kind of shape are you in now? 
Mark says, can you believe Lawrence Welk obliterated Sid Caesar in TV ratings? Yeah, I can, because Sid was like a lot at that time. Lawrence was calmer, and people wanted to enjoy themselves, not be screamed at in gibberish languages. Please go watch Sid Caesar's workout video. He also has one. Uh, Colleen says, RJ Zebra is in danger today. So if you're just joining us, this is my farewell to these underwear. A salute to wonderful time together. There's no way to fix these. And then you fix them and you feel there's a patch on the side and whatever. Can you patch them like you can pack your jacket? Oh, God. Charlie just said, morning, RJ. What did I miss? Well, you missed, we're currently playing uh, Lawrence Welk. You missed uh, three Jerry Vale albums, which is, you know, at your discretion. He gets happier in each one. Uh, we're about to press the coffee, so you didn't miss too much. And I'm saying goodbye to these. Uh, Jake says, not bad. Gee, thanks. Chris said, did I buy a gazelle after Lanny Poffo endorsed it? You know, Lanny Poffo endorses a lot of acts that you can do to better your life yourself. I will leave it at that. Let's press this. Oh, God. Hold on. This is a great song to press to. I wanted a nice calm press. Not a calm press, I wanted a calm, calm press. And now I got the theme from SWAT. Here we are. And we're all cops and private investigators in the 70s. We're all having a good time. There we are. We'll let it settle for two seconds, then we'll pour. Chris says, would I consider selling my torn underwear online to the highest and creepiest bidder? I would consider selling my torn heart. Anyone who's attempted to buy my old wrestling trunks or anything like that, they always get me to name a price and then I never hear from them again. So it's either too expensive or they're people I know that are making fun of me. Balthazar says, do I enjoy the Friars Club videos of the 70s with Sinatra and Martin and Rickles? I love them. And there's even more Friars Club roasts that you never saw. And they're taped, but they're just for the club. And apparently they're incredibly filthy. The TV stuff was cleaned up heavily. Uh, Dex says, fair play to Lanny. You would if you could. I'll let everyone Google Lanny Poffo and figure out what we're talking about. Chris says, I'm making coffee right now to Merle Haggard and Buck Owens. Well, I hope that Merle and Buck sometimes will sync up with the theme from SWAT and provide a great stereo system for you. Let's get a porn, shall we? I don't even need to talk during this. This is... Oh, I can smell the flavoring. Charlie says, Lanny Poffo's Genius Blend Coffee. Bend over and enjoy the flavor. Genius. All right, let's sip, shall we? It's too hot. Oh no, it's dark and robust, and there's just a hint of the cookies and cream flavor, so I'm happy I didn't use the whole thing. See? It's good to have many different coffees. Don't just buy one coffee, and then you suck with it if you don't like it. Buy like two or three. Then you can blend them, or you can mix and match to taste as you like. Mm -hmm. uh, would I do an online live movie watch along with David Arquette of the SWAT movie with Colin Farrell and Samuel L. Jackson? I don't see why not. I think we've done something similar before. We did it with an episode of The Jeffersons, but we didn't tape it. We used a commentary over an episode of The Jeffersons. And I'll tell you the plot, there was some comedic racial tension. It was that episode. I should just do, why do I even talk? This music is so beautiful. I go, why do I, talking, talking, talking. This is of course, the song is called Champagne Time which is really what I should have named my finishing move. I regret it immensely. 
I'm thinking about the great times I had with this pair. What do you do with underwear? I guess I gotta throw them in the garbage. There's nowhere else to dispose of them. These aren't recyclable, right? Ugh. Can you return them? I wish there was like a donation service that would take men's underwear and then like sew them or patch them and then reuse them and give them to other people who need underwear. Uh, unfortunately, says Chris, this broadcast is lasting and uh, lacking in Telstar playing in the background. Well, you got you got Lawrence, and let me also like let's look at how beautiful this graphic is. You know, and maybe this was his support for Pride. This whole thing that was a he was a pioneer of the Pride movement. Look at him, immaculately dressed, nice rings on the fingers. It's amazing. I just want you to get a good look at Jerry, too. I'm happy to sing. Look at all the information here. Standing ovation. Standing ovation. Let's get the, let's do the album when everyone stands up. And this is a little more formal, Jerry, if you're at a wedding or perhaps a communion. Till the end of time. These songs are, oh, let me, let me fucking read you this. The stirring vocal style of Jerry Vale is no stranger where romantic ballads are concerned. In his newest collection, Till the End of Time, Jerry continues to keep good company, singing a dozen songs based on famous melodies such as classical, by such classical composers as Chopin, Debussy, Rachmaninoff, and Tchaikovsky. Add to Jerry's exciting way with his great love themes, Till the End of Time, My Reverie, Full Moon, and Empty Arms, The Things I Love, The Story of a Sorry Night, and for instance, a fine piano and full orchestra, Supports of conductor arranger Glenn Osser, who we're all familiar with. And you have a provocative album of unforgettable music performed by Jerry Vale's memorable stylings till the end of time. That's poetry. To hell with your Jack Kerouacs and your Allen Ginsbergs. Read the back of a Jerry Vale album once in a while. Uh, Balthazar says, did I know that the BBC has a show called Heil Hitler, a sitcom about Hitler and Ava with Jewish neighbors, immediately canceled after one episode? Yes, I do know that. I watched, um, there's a mini documentary on YouTube about it. It's fascinating, and you see what they were trying to do. You get, I'm like, I see you were aiming here, but we ended up far over here. They tried. Jasmine says, every time I watch one of these, I sit here thinking, uh, what did we do, dear Lord, excuse me. Every time I watch one of these, I sit here thinking, what did we do to deserve you? Nothing. And I'm doing nothing, and that's the circle of life. Charlie says, how was Canada Day? I think it was okay. I don't remember one single thing I did, which is how I like to do my Canada days. This is what Sunday afternoons are made for. Church and Lawrence Welk Marathon on PBS. That's for sure. I'll see you at 7 o'clock tonight on WNED, serving Western New York and Southern Ontario. Did I tell you? I, got, I told you guys already. We, David and I tried to host a telephone, and PBS said no. The music over the musing and memories of the zebra underwear gives this a Casey Kasem death dedication feel. Up next, uh, RJ City's underwear. We've all had a pair of underwear that we love, and they've sadly ripped and torn and had to go away. Well, today, OJ's saying goodbye to his favorite player. They were a zebra pink print because he's kind of a wacky guy, and uh, we're having fun this Sunday morning. Anyway, it's Casey and the Sunshine Band. Um, and Sean says, I'm late. Uh, just because Sean is late, I feel like this is a good time to end. I want to say thank you to Jerry Vale and, of course, Lawrence Welk, it was wonderful. My new, really, my favorite album. Uh, and the good people at Bones Coffee. And more Rise Up, which helped balance out the flavor of the thing. And, of course, to Calvin. Uh, I'll never wear these again. I don't know where I'm going to go from here. So let's get one final look at my favorite and my favorite pair. God bless.